Uh, Senator, this is yet another example of inflation running far, far above the rate and the advertised rate we see. Eggs running at 10 times the 8.5% clip we're seeing nationally. Virtually all food items are. Um, so this after all these rate hikes that have yet to sort of dampen that. What do you make of it? Well, I hearken back to when I first got started, Neil. Interest rates were 10% at a bargain rate. Paul Volcker had to take them up to 20%. And it took five years to tamp inflation back down to 2% from 81 to 86. So when you unleash this and you do it as part of being political enterprisers, I've been here a little under four years, 18 trillion in debt when I got here, 30 now, and look at all of the spending we did on top of what probably wasn't needed, the four trillion through the CARES Act. You should have been cautious. They know fiscal policy. And then the Fed accommodated to boot. And then I want to contrast it to the way it was pre-COVID. The best economy I had been a part of with no inflation, interest rates low, wages going up, and less regulation. We need to simply try to get back to that. It's been unleashed. How you get back down took five years the last time it occurred. Um, be that as it may, of course, the, the debt was going up under the, Donald Trump as well. You're quite right to point out, Senator, it accelerated with COVID. I'm just wondering, though, how you get out of this right now, because to your point, um, the, the higher interest rates are adding to the cost of that debt, right? $150 billion as a result of rates going up without anything being added uh, to the debt. So, so I'm wondering how bad this gets. And if the Fed's the only game in town, how high rates go? Well, one percent on 30 trillion is 300 billion. And then you start getting a few of them, you're all of a sudden spending as much on interest as you are in domestic spending or defense. Here's how you get back to it, Neil. Uh, yes, it's been an equal opportunity endeavor putting two wars on the credit card. Obama said, well, if you're going to do that, we're going to double down. And it's been a frenzy ever since. And I agree, both sides. I put a balanced budget out there recently. Every Democrat voted against it. And then a few Republicans to boot. We got to start doing budgeting. Haven't done one in 20 years. We've adhered to regular order through uh, committees, appropriating to where we have discussions how to do it. Last time we did that, it was four months after the fiscal year, and both sides agreed to raising government spending by 6.2%. That's a bad business plan, and it's not the way to do it. Discipline, little backbone, run it more like a business than uh, you know feeding out of a trough. There's a concept. Senator, thank you very much. We'll see what happens. I'm Mike Braun of Indiana on all of that. In the